What's up guys, it's Christopher here on behalf of Cars Unlocked. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Android Auto to your Chevrolet vehicle. Before we begin, a special thanks to today's sponsor, ShineArmor.com. They are the internet's leading home detailing product website. If you need any detailing products for your vehicle, now that winter's coming, you might have disconnected your hose, go to their website and check out all their products. Use my coupon code CU10 to get 10% off your entire order and click the link that I'm gonna provide in the description for you. Also guys, keep in mind that I've done a full Android Auto setup video on the Nissans. I've done it on the Fords. I've also done a separate video on if you're having problems setting up your Android Auto. Take a look at those videos if you need help setting up or if you want to see the other vehicles if you have a Ford or a Nissan. This one's going to be for the Chevy. We're sitting in a 2018 Chevrolet Cruze, so let's take a look. So the Android Auto will allow you to mirror some of the apps that are on your phone and put them right on your vehicle infotainment system so you don't have to always be on your phone while you're driving. There's different apps you can use. Some of the popular ones are Spotify, Google Play Music, Amazon Music. The Google Maps is very key because it allows you to use the maps right on your screen. So if your car doesn't come with navigation, you can get navigation right on your screen using the Google Maps. Waze is another map app. Um, one thing we had to do before we got started here, we needed to go into the settings and we needed to toggle the Android Auto on here. So you can see it automatically doesn't come on. Um, you needed to turn that feature on so that when you plug your phone in, it's gonna automatically start. So basically all you need to do is have your phone plugged in to a USB here. And if you've downloaded the Android Auto app, it's gonna automatically launch the Android Auto. So there you go, and see it launches the Android Auto right on the main screen. For privacy purposes, I'm gonna block out any phone numbers while I'm going through all this, but this is the new and updated version of the Android Auto. It changed a little bit from uh, at the start of the year. They've done a quick refresh here. But here I showed, showed you about the Google Maps. So you can search just like Google. Um, if you wanna go to Aurora, Ontario, you can punch it in and it automatically comes up. Keep in mind that this is gonna use the data on your phone. However, now I have turn-by-turn -turn directions, um, which will allow me to get to my location easier. There's also Google traffic updates if there's an accident on the highway, things like that. This main button takes me right into my app drawer where I have my most recent apps playing here. So you can see every app that I have on my phone compatible with the vehicle. And I don't have too many apps on my phone, so there's not a lot, but if you have a lot of apps, a lot of them are gonna be compatible. You can see there's my Google Play Music, my Amazon, my podcasts, your phone, so you can dial right from your favorites, your call history, your contacts, check your voicemail calendar, there's news, there's all different ones and I can adjust my Android auto settings um, right from my phone. Here I can jump back to my last app with this lower one. So there I can jump right back to the Google Maps. I can also use the microphone here to play um, voice commands like play music, select songs, navigate to, uh, you can make a call. Hey Google, call Collins Nissan. Calling Collins Nissan Mobile. So you can really use the car hands free and then it's gonna call. And then I can hang up. You can see if I use a music app, my uh, recent songs are here and I can just press play and pause with the music. I have the volume all the way down here, but you can skip through your tracks. You don't have to go back into the app like um, the last one was. So the newer updated system is very easy to use. If you're having trouble connecting your Android Auto to your vehicle, check out my um, Android Auto troubleshooting and how to fix some common connection problems. Hopefully that gives you a quick walkthrough of the Android Auto in your Chevrolet vehicle. Again guys, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comment section below. Thank you.